guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So let's get into a few different topics. We're going to start off with the queen of rap. Because Key Glock, um, you know, has shouted out Nicki Minaj, paid homage to the queen of rap. And allegedly, he wants to work with the queen of rap also. Now, if you don't know who Key Glock is... Um, he is an artist, a rapper, and his biggest song on Spotify is Ambition for Cash. Okay, so it looks like he does have a following. But in his recent single, F.A. Feature, he said, Nina on my side, I let it spit just like Nikki. Which I believe Nikki references Nina in the Do We Have a Problem song. Okay, so, you know, let me know how you guys feel about that. Would you guys be here for a Nicki and Key Glock collaboration? I don't really listen to him like that. So I don't know if I would be here for it or not. Um, Let me know in the comments if he's that dude, because I don't really listen to him like that. I only listen to two male rappers, and that is um Kendrick Lamar. You know, I listen to J. Cole sometimes. I'm not going front. I do listen to J. Cole. And then there's Nicki Minaj. I don't really consider Nicki a female rapper anymore because I feel like she can go up against the dudes. Okay, so I don't really consider her a female rapper. So I only listen to Nicki, you know, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, you know, the talented rappers in the game. Speaking of Nicki Minaj, scratch off drags and goes after the barbs on social media after she was being accused of being someone's mistress okay aka 21 averages okay so scratch off the side chick was celebrating um what's the song casino entering the billboard hot 100 thanks to radio like i told you it would um because she's here to get all the radio and payola she needs because of them low sales and streams that she had so it did debut in the 80s on the billboard hot 100 and she was celebrating that and so she was getting clowned because it's been her first entry since low energy and, um, you know, she put out zero, zero, zero rich flops. You know, she put out a bunch of singles, you know, one with Glow Stick, um, a.k.a. Glorilla that flopped. So Scratch Off, the side chick, responded to the fan and said, you're first, dash, never mind. Then they drag um, Scratch Off, the side chick and said, you want to talk about first like you haven't been playing second as a mistress for three years. So then Scratch Off the Side Chick decided to respond to the fan. I hold as live with my man. I don't even come second. Now, here's the thing. I don't know what that means. You know, there was a lot of um, errors in that sentence. Um, then she said, y'all need to get off them T pages and go touch some grass. Now, here's my thing is. I know Scratch Off is a fan of the Ash Miracle Show, but why you got to take my lingo? It's like, first you mentioned the Scratch Off bar in your song. It's like, you can't even come back with your own clapbacks. Don't you already have reference tracks for your music? Now you need reference tracks for clapbacks on social media. I'm like, why is she taking my lingo? I mean, goodness gracious. My privacy is driving you up the wall. Mistress to who? Why they don't see the cars, diamonds, etc.? Because y'all know I'm spoiled to death. And I don't know what she says, you know, those last two lines. Because, you know, I speak English. So I don't know anything about those sentences, what she's saying. But anyway, listen here, scratch off the side check. Everybody knows that you're messing around with 21 Average. Um, You said you were on live with 21 Average. When? He wasn't there. We ain't see him. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know you keeping a secret for 21 Average that he married his baby mama to keep his citizenship in the U.S. Because he's not a legal citizen in the U.S. So he had to marry his baby mama for citizenship. Everybody knows that. 
Okay. Um, and then on top of that, you got the tattoo on the back of your ear with his name on it. Scratch off the side chick is in denial. Okay. You and 21 Average have no choice to tell the general public that y'all not seeing each other, but you guys are. Just because that man buys you stuff, that doesn't mean that um, you're not a side chick. Side chicks get gifts too. I mean, you need the gifts. In your 360 deal, I'm sure you're not really making much. No shade. And plus, you're not really selling like that. So you need all the gifts you can possibly get, okay? But scratch off, I'm going to need you to be original and stop quoting me. You are not the queen of rap. You are not a true supporter. And um, I don't really mess with you like that. So I would appreciate if you, you know, stop treating me like one of your reference track writers. You know, I don't like when you quote me. Is not inspirational at all. Moving on to Cardi B. So Lakia or Lake from QC is manifesting a Cardi B and Queen B collaboration. Manifesting getting a Grammy nomination. Also, collaborations with people like Summer Walker, Rod Wave, Beyonce, Cardi B. Let me know how you guys feel about that, okay? Uh, maybe she won a Yesterday 2 moment like Glow Stick and Cardi B have. Now, here's my thing, though. Um, Lakia, like, hey, do she have any hits? I don't really hear too much about her. Now, she was on that reality show. I forgot the name of it, but it was with, um, you know, Ari Fletcher and Tennis Ball. Um, Nicki Minaj's hairstylist. I only watched one episode. It was pretty boring. Like a broke down version of Love and Hip Hop. But, you know, let me know if you guys would be here for that collab. Jack Carlo wants Doja. Okay. Now, if you guys have followed Jack Carlo, you know how he's been lusting after Doja Cat for a while now. But this time around, he wants a collaboration. Um, you know, he's kind of been a little bit quiet. You know, he hasn't been making a lot of noise recently. You know, First Class did okay, um, but it went number one on, you know, Billboard. So let me know if you guys think that Doja and Jack Harlow could possibly get a hit together. There has been a lot of rumors that Pete Davidson is now dating NYC rapper Ice Spice. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, I think that these are just rumors. Um, I can't really see her with Pete Davidson. And even if she was dating Pete Davidson, it would be strictly for PR. Um, you know, I don't think any relationship Pete Davidson gets in, um, is going to last long. Pete Davidson just dates girls for, um, attention and to be on the blogs. Okay. So this is strictly PR if they do date. But word on the street is that Meek Mill, Nikki's ex, has his eye on No Spice, okay? Now, if you guys remember, he did the corny remix, the Munch remix, um, which was extremely corny for his age um, because Munch is not really like a lyrical song and Meek is known to be a lyricist. But, you know, he had a hop on the bandwagon, but allegedly he has his eye on um, no spice, but she's entertaining Champagne Thickums and TJ, um, the rapper. So good luck with that. Moving on to Riri. So Rihanna might do another Vogue cover. Okay. Possibly next year or late this year, considering that she did two Vogue covers. Um, one when she was pregnant and then another Vogue cover, um, showing her son and ASAP the colorist, okay? There will be another cover since she is pregnant again. Vogue loves Rihanna, and rightfully so. She is one of the, um, you know, icons in the game. You know, she's been in the game for a long time. She has expanded to, you know, the fashion industry and the makeup industry. And she has a billion dollar company, so it makes sense. Shout out to Queen B. She won three awards at the NWA CP Image Awards 2023 for Outstanding Female Artist, Outstanding Album, Outstanding Soul and R&B Song, um, Cuff It. So congratulations to Queen B on that. Well deserved. 
Is Sabrina Carpenter the new it girl in pop? Okay. She was spotted out with Shawn Mendes. Might get into a PR relationship. Okay. Um, she has beef with Olivia Rodrigo. So that's going to be interesting. And her song, No Nonsense, has been making a lot of noise. No Nonsense went gold. It has roughly 100 million um, streams on Spotify. Um, you know, the song came out last year. So let me know if you guys feel like she's going to be the next pop it girl. Okay. I can see her and Shawn Mendes getting into another PR relationship, just how he did with Camila Cabello. Cause at the end of the day, that's how artists get a lot of attention on the blogs. Okay. Um, so that's why they have them do the PR relationships. And he was already in a PR relationship before, you know, so he can give her that experience. Um, you know, and she got beef with Olivia Rodrigo because allegedly they were seeing the same guy. So now she'll see somebody that's available. Okay. Um, you know, hopefully he don't cheat on her with another man or female. The No Nonsense song I do like though. Okay. Um, so I do like that song. So let me know how you guys feel about Sabrina. And then last but not least, Adele and Rich Paul are reportedly engaged. Congratulations to Adele. She's getting pushed out of the industry anyway. So I think it's smart for her to get married and settle down. Uh, because after this tour is over, because I know now she's on tour, I think Adele got like one more album in her and then she going to be out. Because at the end of the day, the 30 album just wasn't as great as her other albums. She only had one hit, which was very shocking. Okay, she had, um, you know, Easy On Me, but she didn't have no other hits on that album. And usually, you know, Adele has like at least two or three hits per album. So with that being said, I think that the industry is basically done with Adele. And so she might as well get married. You know, no shade. But, um, you know, they start pushing you out when you get up there in age. And I don't think that they too happy that she with this dude. Um, but anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys check out my Patreon. I got some new videos on there. And I will see you guys in the next video.